hi this is kim with the painted cottage and i am going to show you the things that i picked up at the garage sales last weekend there was a community yard sale very close to home a really big community um so i was excited to go to that one i've been to that one before what i have noticed is that the fall garage sales are nowhere near i mean nowhere near as good as the spring ones. The spring ones are decent. Like I can actually find good stuff down here. So anyway, this is what I picked up over the weekend. Not a lot, but some decent stuff. Um, the, okay. So I picked up this frame or this mirror it has the nice gold frame. This is a wood frame. It's really, really pretty. Um, I'd love to just put it in the booth as is. I'd love for somebody to appreciate this gorgeous original gold wood frame mirror, but people usually don't. So um, I like to paint these and then distress back to the gold. And those are always gorgeous and those always sell. So I just might have to do that. I might try one more time to put a gold frame mirror in the booth as is, but I'm probably gonna have to be bringing that home and painting it. All right, I did pick up some of these. I got four of these. They're just little, the macrame, hanging decorations uh my older daughter has a very boho room and so these would look really good in her room so that's why i picked those up picked up this look at this stand i love this three-tier plant stand it has a i don't know if i can move this out of the way it has a tile mosaic on the top with some floral. It's really pretty. The frame is metal. Um, these shelves are wood. And then they do have some painted flowers on them. It's just a really cute, it's in excellent condition. Very cute. So I picked that up. That, and I will sell this as is. Um, I'll put it in my booth as a display because I need more display shelving. But I have a feeling that this will sell pretty quickly. I picked this up again. My daughter wanted this for her boho room. So it's cute. It's got some nice um, floral detail. Picked up these cute little bottles and I figure I'm going to paint these and then actually I'm going to paint them white and decoupage a napkin or an image on them for Christmas. This is beautiful. I had, I couldn't resist. I was drawn to the sparklies. And then this I found as well and really didn't need to get this, but I could not resist. This is hand painted. It has a hummingbird on each side. It is very beautiful. And this will just get tucked away until spring, but it really is a beautiful hand painted picture. Okay, then I got a really gorgeous frame. And honestly, it's big. I, when I use images and print things, I usually max out at an eight by 10 frame because I use regular size paper in my printer. So this is an 11 by 14. So I'm not sure if I, I bought it just because it was such a pretty frame. And I thought, you know what? I did just get the kids' school pictures, so maybe I'll just order up school pictures and use this for that, or maybe I'll use it in my stuff that I do. Okay, picked up this cute, chunky bird. He's so, you know me and birds. He's a good size, too, so I had to get him. And then I got this. So I got this silly scarf because my one daughter, and she wants to be, what does she want to be? Western Barbie. So I know this is not Western Barbie. When I saw it, I'm like, well, if she can't be Western Barbie, maybe she could be like some other kind of Barbie. And it's a pink scarf. And then if she doesn't like it, my other daughter might like it. I don't know. <laughs> so I just got it. This, I was so happy to find this. This was actually, I think this might have been the very first thing I found. I wanted one of these. This was literally on my list. This was on my, okay, look for one of these list. Um... So it's a mug, it's an old, you know, wood mug holder, but I wanted it because for Christmas coming up, I wanted it, one of these to paint and hang my ornaments on. So it was absolutely perfect. It was like it was meant to be. 
All right, I picked this up because I can do something with it. This actually has some writing on the side, but it is just vinyl, so I can just take that off, and then I'll dress it up and make that pretty. My older daughter has gotten into vintage glass, so when I saw this, I thought, hey, look, there's some carnival glass, and she said, yes, get it. So I just thought that we're going to use it. I don't know. I don't know why I got it, but it's really, really beautiful. I do love the blue carnival glass. It's very pretty. I am, I don't know. I just, I got it for her. All right. Then I picked this up. Just a little round box. And I will sand this off and totally refinish this and make it cute. I got two puzzles because we love puzzles and we are literally overflowing the puzzles that we have we have a section in my bonus room closet they are spilling over there's no room for more puzzles but i just can't resist when i find cute ones okay then i picked up one of these because i like to decorate with these little vintage sifters i got oh wait i didn't show you the bowl the bowl one of these woven bowls it's really pretty and in excellent condition so i figured i'd get that Picked up this wind chime, and it is, it just needs to be cleaned up. It's all nice and rusty. It's a really thick metal. It's in great condition except for the rust, but you know, we like rust. Um, but that was beautiful, so I had to get that. This, I just threw some stuff in here to kind of start decorating it as a display, but I picked up, I, this, I already had all this stuff. But this wood caddy, it was already red, and I thought with Christmas coming up, I could totally make a really cool Christmas display. Then I got this, so just a vintage suitcase, which I had a couple of these in the past, and they sold. They're just so beautiful to decorate with, especially with fall. They're gorgeous. And then this, so we go on our road trips every summer up north, and it's funny because we always seem to struggle with what size cooler to take. We don't want to take up too much room because we need room for stuff, but I saw this and I thought, oh my gosh, this is actually perfect. This is perfect. It's tiny. It's compact. We can throw some drinks in there for the two-day trip, maybe throw a couple sandwiches in there, but that I thought was perfect. Then I got these two TV trays. I also, this was also on my, uh, you know, try to find these things list um, because my younger daughter has been making bracelets and she likes to sell them at my vendor events. So I actually wanted to find a couple TV trays for her so that she could just set up. She didn't have to use an, up any of my table space and try to squeeze in buy my stuff, she could just have her own little corner and set up on some TV trays. So I will paint those up and make them pretty. And then that will be her little bracelet station. And then there are these, I think this is the last of my finds. Now they are filthy. They totally need to be cleaned up, um, but they're really cute. Just little metal buckets with the handles. They have the two-tone and there's just a nice Christmas display. But like I said, they're filthy. I will totally scrub these down and make them fresh and beautiful.